In this video we're going to be looking at three angle facts. The first is about angles round a point, the second is about angles at a point on a straight line, and the third is about vertically opposite angles. Let's start with the first fact. This simply says that angles around a point add up to 360 degrees. This is because a full turn is a turn of 360 degrees. That means these two angles must add up to 360 degrees. That means we can find A by working out 360 minus 135. We just want to take this away from 360. So we get A equals 360 minus 135. And if you work that out, you get an answer of 225 degrees. Let's just check that looks sensible. We've got an angle here that is clearly greater than 180 degrees. It is a reflex angle, so 225 looks sensible. Also, it's worth noting that this works even when you've got more than two angles around a point. For example, in this diagram, we have one, two, three, four angles around a point. And that means these four angles, whatever they are, must add up to 360 degrees. Our second angle fact for this video is that angles at a point on a straight line add up to 180 degrees. Notice that this is half of 360 degrees. A turn of 180 degrees represents a half turn. In other words, if you're facing in one direction and you turn 180 degrees, that means you are now facing in the opposite direction. Let's have a look at these questions then. To find angle B, what we have to do is spot that these two angles meet at a point on this straight line. Therefore, these must add up to 180 degrees. So this whole angle is 180 degrees. To find just angle B, we need to subtract 53 degrees from that. That means B equals 180 minus 53, which gives us 127 degrees. Pause the video and see if you can find the size of this angle here, angle C. What you should have spotted is that these two angles meet at a point on a straight line. So they add up to 180. That means C is going to be 180 minus 129. And that gives us an answer of 61 degrees. Let's move on to this last example. This one is a little bit more tricky. This time we've got three angles, but we know that two of them must be the same. These two are both angle D, so they have the same value. These are three angles that meet at a point on a straight line. So we know they must add up to 180 degrees. Let's write that out mathematically. D plus 114 plus D equals 180 degrees. Now I can simplify this a little bit. D plus D is two lots of D, which I can write as 2D. So I've got 2D plus 114 adding up to 180 degrees. Now if I've got 2D plus 114 adding up to 180 degrees, that means 2D must be 180 minus 114 degrees. And if we work out 180 minus 114, we find that that is 66 degrees. And finally, if two lots of D is 66 degrees, then to find one lot of D, I just need to divide by two. That means D equals 33 degrees. 
we can check our answer. What we're saying is that this angle here is 33 degrees. And we're saying that this one is also 33 degrees because it's also D. And all we have to do now is check that 33 plus 114 plus 33 does add up to 180. And if you check it, you'll see that it does. So we know we've got this correct. In this last problem, we have two angles we need to find. We need to find E and F. Now we can do this entirely using our current knowledge. We can see that E and this 44 degree angle meet at this point on this straight line. So pause the video and see if you can work out what E is. Hopefully you've spotted that these two angles must add up to 180 degrees. So to find E, we need to do 180 minus 44. If you work that out, you find that E is 136 degrees. Now, to find F, we can use the same skill again. Notice that the angles E and F are at a point on a straight line. Pause the video and see if you can work out what F is. Hopefully you spotted that these two must add up to 180 degrees. So F is going to be 180 minus 136. And that gives us 44 degrees. Notice F is the same as this angle here. And that's no coincidence. When you have two straight lines or line segments that cross over like this, these opposite angles will be equal. In fact, this angle here will be equal to this angle here. So I can write down without doing any working that this angle is 136 degrees. Now these pairs of angles that are opposite each other have a special name. They are called vertically opposite angles. And vertically opposite angles are equal. By the way, this word vertically confuses a lot of students here. In this context, it's not about up and down vertical. It's used because these angles are opposite at a vertex. This point here is a vertex. And what we've got here are these two yellow angles opposite each other at this vertex. And we also have these two green angles opposite each other at the same vertex. And what we're saying is those ones that are opposite each other are equal. So the two green ones are the same and the two yellow ones are the same.